Whatever game you're playing, it won't work. You can't defeat me. No, I know. <sighs> but he can. No. Boo! You stink! I was just kidding! Come on! Come on! You guys know I was just kidding! So you know about scratch add-ons, but did you know that we have a new Chrome extension which has some features that scratch add-ons doesn't? Well, I'm talking about scratch tools. Scratch tools is an amazing new Chrome extension which can be used to do a lot of amazing things just like scratch add-ons. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 scratch tools which I think are really amazing. So click on the link in the description, add this extension to your browser and let's get started. So number one is Anti-Generic Explore. So this tool does the unthinkable. It basically removes the projects which have a lot of hashtags in them or projects that are similar to each other. I don't know how it does that, but whatever it does is epic. Number two is Block Users. Have you ever had an encounter with someone who spams projects links in your comment section well now you won't because this add-on adds a block button on every user's profile page and by using this you can block that user now you will no longer see their messages pretty epic number three is scratch format so this tool basically adds some text styling options whenever you click on the comment box you can make your text bold italic and underlined this can make your text look much better number four is fixed content boxes and content box shadows so you have seen these boxes on the home page they look weird I I mean, the top has curved corners, but the bottom doesn't. Why scratch team? Why? Well, to fix this, use fixed content boxes. This tool will curve all the corners of the content boxes, which looks a lot better. Also, use content box shadows to add some drop shadow, which will make them even more awesome. Number 5 is NFE Search. So if you are a FNAF fan, you must struggle to find any FNAF games on the Scratch website because that term is blocked from the search. But now, you can fix that problem by turning on NFE Search. This basically adds a button which you can click on and see all the hidden projects. This works with every term that's blocked, not only FNAF, which is pretty epic. Number 6 is Custom Studio Section. Now everyone hates the Featured Project section, right? Well, what if we instead add a studio of our own choice? That's exactly what this tool does. Just turn on Custom Studio Section and enter the studio code in this box. And now when you go to Scratch, you will see your favorite studio, which is much better. Number 7 is Unlisted Projects. So if you want to share your project with your friend but cannot give him the project file and you also don't want to share the project then you can use this this basically adds a button called make unlisted and when you click on it gives you a special link and you can just copy this link and send it to your friend your friend can use this link to access your project which can be pretty useful for a lot of people you can also click on make private after you have done this so that the link does not work anymore number eight is custom website font so if you don't like the font of the scratch website you can now change it just turn on custom website font and type the name of the font and as you can see it has changed pretty epic number nine is user bio on hover so if you want to see the about me section of someone who has commented on your profile just use this tool after you turn it on hover your mouse over the username and you will see it you don't need to go on their profile number 10 is better forum emojis for some reason emojis used in the discussion forum are really old and if you want to fix this you use better forum emojis. This basically replaces the old emojis with discord emojis which are much better and modern. Wait wait wait, that's not all I got. We have some bonus features. So the first bonus feature is check if trending. So if you are playing a game and want to see if it's on trending, then just turn this on. This basically tells you if the project you are on is on trending and on what position as well. That is cool. The second bonus feature is message count. So this tool can be used to see the message counts of other scratchers on their profile. Let's check Griff patch. 300. Third bonus feature is hide advertisements in comments. So this tool can be used to hide advertisement comments which is basically every comment that contains scratch project links. Using this you will actually see normal comments instead of links. So the fourth bonus feature is terrible feature. This tool is kinda hard to explain and so just see what turning this on does.